coronavirus death toll now climbing past 350,000 today. The U.S. coronavirus death toll now rising above 100,000. The coronavirus, a mysterious, highly communicable, lethal disease. Coronavirus. 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 The coronavirus. Everywhere you look and turn, the coronavirus is affecting millions of lives across the world. Amidst the confusion and helplessness in the pandemic, we can only turn to science to help us understand this complex virus. This brings us to ask, what exactly is COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 is a newly identified coronavirus. Some coronaviruses cause common diseases like the common cold. However, this new strain has never spread to humans before. But have you ever wondered, how does this virus enter and infect our cells? Why are there other odd symptoms and why are children less likely to get it? And they all lie in the hands of ACE2 receptors. What are ACE2 receptors? ACE2 is a protein on the cell membrane. As an enzyme, it cuts blood pressure increasing angiotensin proteins, thereby normalizing high blood pressure. If you take a look at the COVID-19 virus, you can see it has S proteins protruding off its surface. The virus's S protein latches onto the ACE2 receptor like a key in a lock. These ACE2 proteins act like doorways or receptors which are required for the COVID-19 virus to enter into cells. With these ACE2 entry points, the virus easily accesses and infects the cell. More ACE2 receptors mean more entry points for the virus to infect the cell. When the virus penetrates into the cell, it dissolves its capsid shell, leaving just the RNA. It hijacks the cell to produce more copies of itself. New viruses are formed, and the cell invasion cycle resumes. Epithelial cells have more ACE2 and make up most open surfaces, especially respiratory passages. Thus, COVID-19 viral infections are common in that area. No, not that type of viral. Viral as in virus. Healthy oxygen exchange gets disrupted as immune cells rush to fight the virus. Frontline white blood cells release inflammatory chemicals that summon more immune cells, like ordering reinforcements in a battle. This ongoing war leaves dead cell pus and obstructs normal oxygen exchange, resulting in shortness of breath and low oxygen levels. But ACE2 rich epithelial cells are present beyond just the lungs. The intestinal tract, heart lining, blood vessels, and brain are filled with epithelial cells that have ACE2 receptors. This makes it possible for COVID-19 to infect other organs. Scientists hypothesize that all symptoms like diarrhea, blood clots, heart attacks, cardiac and brain inflammation, and seizures correlate with the infection of tissues lined with ACE2-rich epithelial cells. Adults make up 98% of COVID-19 cases, but why aren't most kids contracting it despite easily catching seasonal illnesses? Scientists hypothesize it may be because the ACE2 protein isn't very active in childhood. Without the story for the virus to latch onto the cell, it won't cause much damage to children. Knowledge of these receptors are the beginning to understanding this complex virus. Receptors may be the explanation for its bewildering symptoms and demographics. Cracking the mechanisms of this receptor may soon help scientists find a cure or prevention.